All right. What's going on, boys and girls? Uh, it just... It was just a random thought that came to my head, but I've actually never ever discussed what is the best rep range to ever train in. Which is really funny, <laughs> considering it's one of the most important questions to ever answer. But I've actually never made a video about what the best rep range is to train in. Uh, so I'm actually gonna answer that, but and I'll give you like a kind of uh, kind of like a hint. The answer is definitive, but it's actually not constant. And if that's confusing, it's gonna make sense as I explain the entire thing. But I'm going to explain to you all of the different rep ranges, all the successes that have come from all these different rep ranges, like why you're doing them in the first place. Uh, all the athletes that have been made, all different kinds of bodybuilders and such that have been made via different rep ranges. And also some of their pros and cons, like why they may or may not have done better in their lifetimes and so on and so forth. In their careers, if they tried out different rep ranges. Um, and then finally, yeah, again, the pros and cons of these rep ranges and why you need to be choosing to do all of them and or what's the, what's the best one, what's the most important one for you right now. So, let's get into it. Oh yeah, it also took me like six or seven years, it took me six, seven, eight years to actually figure out the answer to this question, which might, I don't know, which to me was really shocking or surprising because how much can you study in seven or eight years and you still don't know the answer to what is the best rep range.